Good afternoon, welcome to the video. My name is Martin and today as you can see we are in the city of Taranto. Taranto is the second largest city in the region of uh, Apulia in the southeast of Italy. And uh, we are just crossing now over the Rocky Bridge as it is called uh, by locals and heading into the old town. Uh, right here as you saw we have the uh, fishermen uh, in kind of yachts uh, port while on the other side there is the fisher the rather fisherman port and now we're gonna head into the old town which is actually located on an island and yeah so today the plan is to explore the city and see the most important uh, parts and most important attractions which is one is the old town and the castle possibly the revolving uh, bridge and yeah so i hope you are ready for it Boom. so we are just entering the old town right now uh, i'm with my friend Clarice, who is Hi. actually today leaving uh, to continue her backpacking trip uh, in italy um, so the city of Taranto is divided in three parts and um, the city was founded in the 8th century before Christ and uh, it was founded by the Spartans, so uh, the Greeks and it was uh, the only colony of uh, the Spartans outside of uh, Greece, Taranto and um, since then the city has uh, been very imp a very important center because of her because of its uh, uh, how can i say geography and its uh, uh, maritime uh, importance it's a uh, sea uh, city and um, yeah so just walking now through the old town the old town uh, i would personally recommend to not come here during the night because it used to be with a high presence of uh, criminals, but now it's getting better. Um, but yeah, so I would recommend here to not come in the in the night. So we are now in front of the uh, San Francisco's uh, convent. It was built in the first Franciscan community in the town. The big monastic complex very probably dates from the 14th century and was originally made up of the convent and a small single room church devoted to St. Lawrence. What is extant from the medieval complex today along the front in Via Duomo is part of the display the jewel portal of the church as well as with traces of frescoes in the place of the original side chapels along the eyes of the whole monastic complex began to be enlarged during the 17th century. And, and this is the convent where now they have 
open the university. Yeah, let's go in. I think it's possible. So as I was saying, the old town used to be a bit uh, rough around the edges and probably it still is in some parts, but now the town, uh, the city council is trying to uh, restore the whole area and to bring some uh, positive uh, examples and some positive uh, economic uh, establishments. And so that's why they have opened the university here and this is just one, it's inside the convent from the 14th century. So between the 1973 and the 1975, the demolition of Casa Nostro Nuzzi and the Trinity Church with its, with its next uh, oratory brought back in light the remains of an archaic Doric temple around 580 and 570 BC. Four columns of the northern external col colonnade are preserved, two of which with their capitals. capitals. And so there's the other ones, but only these two are the ones. It says, and thanks to the archaeological research carried out in the area, it was possible to identify and investigate into a quarry for the mining of blocks of Carbaro, the local turfish uh, stone. They were probably used when the same temple was being built. And this is all still in the heart of the old town, almost at the end. Let's go to take a look from the other side. So this right here is the name that the Spartans had given initially to the city, so Taras. And uh, the city is also known to be the city uh, of the two seas because it's separated in the uh, uh, Mar Grande and Mar Piccolo. So Mar Grande, it's this one over there behind the castle. And then later on, I'll show you after, once we are crossing the uh, revolving uh, bridge. Um, how is the, uh, where is the um, Mar Piccolo, but now we are going to head right outside the uh, old town, there is a, the castle, it's called Castello Aragonese, so we are going to go to visit it right now. So the Castello Aragonese uh, was uh, officially called Castello Sant'Angelo, it was built on a, fortifi on a Greek fortification in the here in the city of Taranto it's nowadays it's managed by the Navy uh, the Navy uh, presence here in the city it's very important uh, because of the um, morphology of the city there has, there there is the largest uh, uh, Navy base uh, in the city and so they are also uh, managing this castle uh, which before it used to uh, also serve as a in as a security uh, standpoint but I have never entered before and so let's go and take a look inside Buongiorno. We are now in front of the uh, revolving uh, bridge, it's called Ponte Girevole in Italian and uh, right by the side of it there is the 
Castello Aragonese, so the uh, Aragon Aragonese uh, castle. And uh, the bridge is quite particular because it was uh, inaugurated in the year 1887 and it's quite famous for the capability of uh, opening on the side, so like this, like the two sides open and so uh, the bridge separates the Mar Grande, which is over there, uh, to the Mar Piccolo, which is on the other side, and so here actually also large uh, ships, large uh, navy ships uh, can pass because uh, most of the uh, small sea it's um, it's used uh, to uh, maintain for uh, the ships, and uh, so it's quite particular, and it's being opened some few times a year. And it's always an event for the city because the whole traffic stops and all these kind of things. And we are now on the seafront and in the distance we can see the monument to the athlete um, of Taranto, which was a very famous uh, athlete from uh, the Greek uh, era in which uh, the city was the capital of the ancient Greece. Uh, very good athlete in the pentathlon uh, sport. So yeah, th there is a monument dedicated to him. Just by the seafront here in Taranto, there is this graffiti of uh, Neptune, who is the uh, the Greek god uh, of the seas, which I really like. It's one of my favorite spots in the city. It was just uh, painted uh, recently, maybe a couple of years ago. Uh, yeah, it's, it's very beautiful. And here we have also a majestic church. I suppose it's a church, I'm not sure. I just came now on the main uh, street of Taranto. It's, uh, as you saw, it's called uh, Via d'Aquino and it's just the city center of the, of the city and here is where most of the life is concentrated and where most, the, most of the economic activities and all the people come in the evening for a walk. In the evening it gets pretty, pretty cool with the lights and everything. So yeah, I wanted to mention a couple of things. One, um, that the museum in Taranto, it's called Marta, and it's a, one of the most important archaeological museums uh, in Italy, and it's very uh, renowned for its uh, ancient Greek collection. So I have been personally there, so I won't be going there today during the video, but I would highly recommend uh, everyone who is coming to visit the city to go there. And the second thing that I wanted to mention is that about the history of the city, the city uh, has not always had an easy life because of the uh, industry uh, that there is in the city. There is the largest uh, steel industry in, the, in Europe, uh, in the city, and it has caused a lot of, uh, um, how can I say, a harsh life to many citizens from one side because of the environmental damage which has caused and the health uh, consequences on the human health all even though at the same time has provided a lot of um, a lot of jobs to the locals over 20,000 people uh, people were used to work in the city so uh, but still nowadays there is a lot of discussion back and forth if this, the industry should be closed it has been sold uh, to private it, before it was uh, owned by the government and back and forth it's happened like various times and even nowadays after 60 years at least it has nothing has changed mostly now they're trying to make it more sustainable but things are going quite slowly I would say but yeah let's continue the tour
Ну, я сейчас скажу вам, что это. Скажу вам, я себе.